Hey YouTube, it's Mal from Shrub Tiles, and today we're just going to have a little fun. So this video isn't going to take itself too serious, so if you're looking for super serious advice, you're at the wrong place today. But if you want to have a little fun, talk some snakes, and maybe take a trip back in the what-if machine, uh, you're in the right place. We're going to have a little fun. Uh, there's going to be some chance for you all to do some commenting. I want to hear your thoughts, because today we are going to be taking or talking about stupid ball python names. That's right. There are some stupid morph names out there. That's what we're really looking on is morph names. I don't like the name of the morph. I'm going to tell you why I don't like it. I'm going to tell you if we got to name it, what we would have called it uh, now, today, if we could change. Obviously, we can't, um, but that's what we're going to go with. So there it is. And in the comments, what I want you to do is I want you to share another one. If you can think of a morph that you think the name of is stupid, share it with us why and what you would rename it so take a moment it's harder than you think and, <laughs> and try to help us out in renaming morphs it's really easy to point to other people's work and say man that's a stupid name and this is why but it's really hard to come up with a name that is at all fitting so we're going to start right now and we're going to go with the first one that i think is stupid and that is a black pastel and you're probably saying why is a black pastel a stupid name well I'll tell you why black pastel is a stupid name. Here's a black pastel. It's not black. It's not pastel. It's nothing like it, <laughs> its name. <coughs> I mean, it would have been more appropriate to call it uterus because they end up having those marks. But it's not black. It's not a pastel. Why are we calling this thing a black pastel? We got to admit, it's kind of a dumb name. It doesn't even look like a pastel with black on it. Like, it just doesn't look anything like that. So what would I rename these snakes? Well, if I could rename Black Pastel, I'm telling you, well, this wasn't the best example as to why, but I would probably call them a Cyclops. And that's kind of, A, it's a cool sounding name. Everybody likes Cyclops. And B, it tends to do a lot of this, where it blows out the pattern, and you get a lot of single key, uh, keyholes, right? Like one single eye staring at you, Cyclops, Cyclops eye, Cyclops eye. You don't get the traditional alien head with two pieces, so I would call these a cyclops is what i would go with not a black pastel cyclops so i was going to start that i expect to see it on morph market next week cyclops not not really obviously nothing's going to change it's going to stay with what's been established and that's fine this is more of a just for fun here's another name that i think is kind of dumb and that is one that is called ah fire so these are called fires now let me set this down here, and I've, I've had some campfires. I've burned a lot of fires in my house. When I was a kid, I might have set a few things on fire I wasn't supposed to. Uh, and looking at the snake, it doesn't look anything like a fire. It's kind of a dumb name for it. You know, this one I really struggle to rename though, and they have a lot of flames. This fire, well it's got some of the best color for a fire. It's not a very high flame fire. So, I mean, I can kind of see the name because of the flaming on it, but a lot of morphs have flaming. So, I just don't think fire is a very good name. So, what I would call this one would be the highlighter. Why would I call it a highlighter? Because fire by itself looks good. It kind of looks like a snake that's got highlights, right? It's not like blonde or really light, like a pastel, but it looks like a normal that's had, had some highlights done on the pattern. So that's kind of why that name would come in. And then when you mix it with things like pastel, it improves, it highlights all the good features. It also causes them to get better with age, highlighting what's good about any morph. So I think highlighter would be a great name for a fire. I would call these highlighters, not fires. Fire also doesn't improve things with age. Fire tends to destroy things. Highlighter makes it better. You're making it stand out. You're highlighting it, right? Or a chick that highlights her hair. Or a dude, whoever. If you're a guy who needs to frost your tips and highlight, no judgment here. Uh, but highlighter, that would be the name we would have went with. How did you break that? Really, seriously, buddy. You're not supposed to break your stuff. So this is the next one that I think is a stupid name. And uh, this is the name I understand the most out of all of them. But this is a spider, in this case a spider het clown, or possible het clown. But it's a stupid name. I don't think spider is a good name for this gene. I, I know, I'm pretty sure it was Kevin who named it, so sorry Kevin, you know. 
uh, from a nerd who does great things. I know it got named because the pattern looking like web. I get it. But whenever you're talking to somebody new and you're like, oh, I got a ball python. They're like, oh, that's cool. And you're like, oh, it's a spider. They're like, what? Huh? You got a spider? No, I got a ball python. And I've had, I've seen this conversation play out in front of me and it was probably an unintended consequence, but it gets confusing because it's got a name of another animal when it's this animal. And it's also happens to be a name of another semi-exotic animal people tend to keep, spiders. So like, you know, I've had people say, oh, I've got a spider. And I'll be like, oh man, that's neat. Thinking because I'm a snake guy, they're talking about a ball python. They're actually talking about an eight-legged tarantula. So it... <laughs> That's why I don't like the name spider. So what do we call it? If I could rename this morph, it would be known as the barbed wire. Why the barbed wire? Well, to me, the pattern looks a lot like barbed wire coming off of it, you know, like it's gonna poke you. Uh, so that's where the name comes from for me, barbed wire. I think it's a great name. That's what I would have went with, especially like when it comes down in the past, it looks like fencing with barbed wire running off of it. I know, you wanna bite me. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, so head shy. All right, buddy, we'll pick you up. There you go. And we'll go get the next one. We have three more we want to rename. I got to fix its water dish really fast. Sorry, it kind of broke stuff. Knocking it off of the pedestal. Whoop. I'm going to have to now re-glue. So I'm going to save that one for last. I'm going to go over the two names I think are the dumbest names ever for ball pythons, right? These are the dumbest. There is no name dumber than the two I'm about to show you. Uh, and that's for very valid reasons. Those are kind of goofy reasons. This is what in the ball python world we call a ghost, which led to the existence of what's known as a true ghost. Calling these ghosts was stupid. I don't know why it happened. I don't know the backstory on it. But it really sucks. You have just a little piece of shit on your tail. Can I get that? Can I have that? Maybe? Uh, thank you. And the reason it was stupid was because in every other reptile out there that has a ghost morph, the ghost is a double recessive, exanthic, and also hypomelanistic. Okay? Where these are just a single gene hypomelanistic. So calling something a single gene hypomelanistic ghost is dumb. It causes confusion. It causes a lot of issues when people come from other like carp or not carpets, but like uh, say they come from having uh, uh, corns. Woo, there I thought of it. Yeah, a little piece on your neck too. I'll get that later. It's a little dry in here, so we've had a few rough sheds, but she's doing good over the most part. It, it's just it causes confusion. So it's a dumb name that should have never happened. Hypo or hypomelanistic would have been fine. Uh, it would have been a lot less confusing for people who are coming from other genes. To understand what it is or for people who go from ball pythons into something else because if all I've ever been around is ball pythons and I decide to get into something else that has you know a properly named hypo and a ghost I start calling my ghost hypo because what I'm used to and then it can be problematic so this should have been just called hypo this is one I would really like to actually see change I wish we would get rid of the name ghost and call it hypo because that would be the proper name of things but we probably won't do that. It's been too established for too long. However, that would be a much better name for it. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Come on, get in there. Thank you. Now the dumbest name of all, and this is on a snake that's probably one of the more expensive snakes out there right now, or one of the more expensive single genes that you're starting to see a lot. I mean, it's not like crazy new genes, been out a long time, but it does command good value. It's a recessive gene. Unfortunately, I don't have a single gene to show you, so I'll just show you a combo. This is what is called a pastel desert ghost. Uh, desert ghost being the name we're saying is stupid. I hate the name desert ghost with a passion. I love the animals. It's a great gene. It does wonderful things. Excuse me, just with a pastel, the snake is amazing. Uh, our pastel lesser desert ghost, het cryptic, is also amazing. So that's a fly. Die. I thought that was a piece of dirt, but it was actually alive. So anyway, some pee on your other. <laughs> With these guys, why do I hate the name so much? Well, it's really simple. They're, it's named with two different names involved. So there's already a ghost, which you already established is confusing. And you have that name in here. So then you start talking to new people. They think you're talking about a combo, a desert slash ghost, not a separate gene altogether. 
to make it even wor worse, there is another gene called desert. So you could literally say, I have a desert ghost, and you could be talking about a combo that's a desert and a ghost, or you could be talking about a desert ghost. Uh, the desert morph, the single gene desert, which is a recessive, is also not a compatible animal. Like, the females always go egg-bound, they die. I really believe when these first started coming, one of the reasons they took so long to take off was the name. When you had desert in the name like that, and you had two separate single gene names that were made into one morph that's not related to those two at all, it just confused people. And I know a lot of people hear the word desert and be like, oh, I don't want to get in the desert project. Or, I already got burned on the desert project because the females aren't fertile. I'm staying the hell away from desert. And I get it. Uh, or they'd hear ghost and think that this is some kind of ghost combo and ghost has been out forever when in truth it's neither a ghost nor a desert. So I really wish this would have had a different name and we kind of had a hard time thinking of a new name for it and Kurt kind of came up with the name talking about a different snake but it kind of stuck with this one of Amber. And not, there's no girl named Amber, well there's a lot of girls named Amber, but we're not named after some girl named Amber. It's more off of, uh, if you've ever seen Jurassic Park, they had the mosquito encased in Amber, which I think was a tree sap that hardens to like a, a petrifies like a rock, more or less. And the reason for that is it's kind of got this nice golden light color. That's what these tend to have, but then they enhance everything greatly and they get better with age. It's kind of a do-it-all gene. It's really, really an awesome gene. But I think Amber would have been a better name for this than a uh, desert ghost. A lot less confusing, and it would have established itself a lot sooner, and we'd have a lot more combos with it already, because people wouldn't have been like, we ain't getting into a desert. So I don't know who named this, but I'll be honest, I think you made a mistake in it, but whoever also was the first to start this, man, you started one hell of a gene. I really like it. Now I saved my favorite rename for last. I don't know if I scare you, girly. No need to be scared. Come on, get down in there. Blop. Also, we're going to be hopefully producing Visual Desert Ghosts for the first time this year. We have two females that are breed size. So, yay! Uh, that's really exciting. So, anyway, on to the next one. And that is the Lester. I think the Lester is a dumb name. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, come here, little one. Now, this is a tiny little lesser. This was one that was on the struggle bus when it first hatched and uh, now is doing great. It's got about two or three meals in it now on its own, but you were struggling early on, weren't you? <laughs> so this goes by a few names. When it first came out, it was a lesser and there was a line that was butter. Uh, you know, butter would have probably been the name that should have stuck. My first one I bought was lesser. It's all the same stuff. I tend to say lesser now because I was saying it for so long. But the problem with the name Lesser is, well, it sounds like you're getting less. I mean, if I said, hey, you can have more money or lesser money, which would be bad English, you wouldn't take the lesser. If I said you could have the lesser of two evils, it's the smaller of the evils, right? Uh, lesser is always less. When you're spending money on something, you tend not to want less, you want more. So the name itself and the connotation the word carries, I just don't think is a very good name. You know, I'm sure they had a good reason for it, but uh, I think originally it was Lesser Platinum and they separate, but there's a lot of stuff to that. So I just, I'm not a big fan of the name Lesser at all. So what would we have called this? Well, man, we were really struggling because the colors, a lot of things. And then Kurt kind of hit the nail on the head and then we chuckled. We said, no, we couldn't do that. Then we came back and said, hell yeah, we can. So this, if lesser carries such a negative connotation, you feel like you're getting less of something because it's named a lesser, what do we really want you to feel like you're getting? We want you to feel like you're getting more. So it's not going to be called a lesser, it's going to be called a more. Because when you put it to, it gets more better. So this is now going to be known as a more, not a lesser. So come get you some more. <laughs> That's the best we can do. I know that one's cheesy. However, that is our renamed ball python. So just for review, lesser is changing to more so you can have more. Black pastel to cyclops because of the pattern. Spider it gets confusing because of the animal. We're going to call that barbed wire. Fire does not look like it's on fire. So we're going to call it highlighter because it highlights everything. Ghost, we're going to call hypo because that's what it should have been called, damn it. And desert ghost is not a desert that is infertile and sucks, nor is it a hypo. So we're not going to call it a combo of those two and instead we're going to call it amber to reflect some of its coloration 
And that is how we're going to rename things. Now, if we were a less than scrupulous business, what we would do, which we're not, we're still going to sell these. This is what they're called. We would start calling them a new name and actually get something new and sell you some crap that way. Well, we're not going to do that either. Uh, I don't think very many people do that anymore, but I'm not going to tell you. It's never happened back in the day. <laughs> Kurt, anything you want to add? No. Nope. All right, guys. That is our Morph rename. I hope you enjoyed it. Now we're going to go over to Patreon, and I don't know what we're going to talk about, but we'll figure it out. We'll catch you guys next time.